Lip Plate from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia at en.wikipedia.org. The Lip Plate, also known as Lip Plug or Lip Disc, is a form of body modification. Increasingly large discs, usually circular, are made from clay or wood, are inserted into a pierced hole in either the upper or lower lip, or both, thereby stretching it. The term labrette denotes all kinds of pierced lip ornaments, including plates and plugs. Archaeological evidence indicates that labrettes have been independently invented no fewer than six times, in Sudan, Eritrea, and Ethiopia, 8700 BC, Mesoamerica, 1500 BC, and coastal Ecuador, 500 BC. Today, the custom is maintained by a few groups in Africa and Amazonia. Usage in Ethiopia In Africa, a lower lip plate is usually combined with the excision of the two lower front teeth, sometimes all four. Among the Sara people and Lobi of Chad, a plate is also inserted into the upper lip. Other tribes, such as the Makande of Tanzania and Mozambique, used to wear a plate in the upper lip only. Many older sources reported that the plate size was a sign of social or economical importance in some tribes, but because of natural mechanical attributes of human skin, the plate size may often depend on the stage of stretching of the lip and the wishes of the wearer. Among the Sorma, own name Suri, and Morsi, people of the lower Omo River Valley in Ethiopia, about six to twelve months before marriage, a young woman has her lip pierced by her mother or one of her kinswomen, usually at around the age of fifteen to eighteen. The initial piercing is done as an incision of the lower lip up to one to two centimeters in length, and a simple wooden peg is inserted. After the wound has healed, which usually takes between two and three weeks, the peg is replaced with a slightly bigger one. At a diameter of about 4 centimeters, the first lip plate made of clay is inserted. Every woman crafts her own plate and takes pride in including some ornamentation. The final diameter ranges from about 8 centimeters to over 20 centimeters. In 1990, Beckwith and Carter claim that the Morsi and Surma women, the size of their lip plate indicates the number of cattle paid as the bride price. Anthropologist Turton, who studied the Morsi for 30 years, denies this. Shana Letoski, building from field research among the Morsi in 2004, discusses in detail why most Morsi women use lip plates and describes the value of ornamentation within a discourse of female strength and self-esteem. In contemporary culture, most girls of age 13 to 18 appear to decide whether or not to wear a lip plate. This adornment has attracted tourists to view the Mercy and Surma women with mixed consequences for these tribes. The largest lip plate recorded was in Ethiopia, measuring 59.5 centimeters or 23.4 inches in circumference and 19.5 centimeters 6.7 inches wide in 2014. Usage in the Americas In South America, among some Amazonian tribes, Young males traditionally have their lips pierced and begin to wear plates when they enter the men's house and leave the world of women. Lip plates there are associated with oratory and singing. The largest plates are worn by the greatest orators and war chiefs such as Chief Rayoni of the Keapo tribe, a well-known environmental campaigner. In South America, lip plates are nearly always made from light wood. In the Pacific Northwest of North America, among the Haida, Simshian, and Tlingit, lip plates are used by women to symbolize social maturity by indicating a girl's eligibility to be a wife. The installation of a girl's first plate was celebrated with a sumptuous feast. In Western nations, some young people, including some members of the modern primitive movement, have adopted larger gauge lip piercings a few large enough for them to wear proper lip plates. Some examples are given on the BME website. List of traditional wearers. Tribes that are known for their traditional lip plates include the Mercy and Surma Suri women of Ethiopia, the Sara women of Chad, ceased wearing plates in the 1920s, the Makande of Tanzania and Mozambique ceased wearing plates several decades ago, 
The Suya men of Brazil most no longer wear plates. The Butacudo of coastal Brazil, in previous centuries, both sexes wore plates. Aluit, Inuit, and other indigenous peoples of northern Canada, Alaska, and surrounding regions also wore large labrets and lip plates. These practices had, most, had mostly ceased by the 20th century. Some tribes, the Zoe in Brazil, Nuba in Sudan, Lobi in West Africa, wear stretched lip ornaments that are plug or rod shaped rather than plate shaped. Ubangi misnomer. In the late 19th and early 20th centuries, African women wearing lip plates were brought to Europe and North America for exhibit in circuses and sideshows. Around 1930, Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey promoted such women from the French Congo as members of the Ubangi tribe. The Ringling Press agent admitted that he had picked that name from a map for its exotic sound. The word Ubangi was still given a definition as an African tribe in 2009 in some English language dictionaries. The word was used in this way in the 1937 Marx Brothers film A Day at the Races. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike 3.0 Unported License, available at creativecommons.org slash licenses slash by hyphen sa slash 3.0.